Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to prove that the limit as x approaches infinity of the sine of the natural log of x over x equals zero. So before we do the proof, let me just briefly recall what this actually means mathematically. So when you write the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals l, where l is a real number, this is the same thing as saying, this double arrow means is equivalent to, for all epsilon, that's what the upside down a means, greater than zero, there exists, that's what the backwards e means, some positive number m, such that, that's what st means, for all real numbers x greater than m, we can make the distance between f of x and l small. In other words, f of x gets close to l. So on the real number line, we tend to use the absolute value function for our distance function. So the distance between f of x and l, in other words, the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So that's the uh, mathematical definition that we're going to use in this problem to do this proof. So I have not done this problem, so let's go ahead and figure it out together first, and then we'll go through the proof. So scratch work. I'll just say scratch. It'll save me one second of writing. Okay, work. <laughs> okay, so in this scratch work, we can write down anything we want because it's not really part of the proof, so it doesn't really matter what we do. So we have an epsilon greater than zero, and we need to find an m, and we want the distance between f of x and l to be less than epsilon. So our f of x is this function here, sine of the natural log of x all over x. And then l is zero, so minus zero. And we want this to be less than epsilon, so we want this, this is what we need. So when we subtract zero, we really just get this sine ln x over x. And again, we want this to be less than epsilon, but watch this. There's a property of absolute values that says you can do this. This is the absolute value of the sine of ln x over the absolute value of x. And now we get to use a really beautiful fact about the sine function. The sine function is bounded by one. That means that it's less than or equal to one in absolute value. The ln x doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what's there. In general, the sine of a real number u in absolute value is always less than or equal to one for all numbers u. So it doesn't matter that the ln is there. So this is less than or equal to one over the absolute value of x. What makes it even better is that x is approaching infinity, so you know it's positive. So this is just one over x. We want this to be less than epsilon. I'm gonna write it again over here. We want one over x to be less than epsilon. Let's use our skills now to solve for x. We'll multiply both sides by x. X is positive, so the inequality won't change. This is one less than epsilon times x. Now you just divide by epsilon, divide by epsilon, so you get x bigger than one over epsilon. So how do we find that x? Well, there's a property called the Archimedean principle, and it says, give it any real number, you can find a natural number that's bigger. This doesn't need to be a natural number, but it certainly can be. It just says number. So in our proof, we'll be able to choose a number that's bigger than this. It's also worth no noting that this number actually makes sense because epsilon is greater than zero, so one over epsilon is well-defined. Okay, let's go through our proof. So proof. We'll start our proof by letting epsilon be greater than zero. That'll satisfy this condition here. So let epsilon be greater than zero. Now we have to find a positive number. Well, via the Archimedean principle, we can say choose a number m bigger than one over epsilon. And again, one over epsilon makes sense because epsilon is greater than zero. Then for all x bigger than m, Right, we're satisfying this definition up here. Let's look at the difference between f of x and l. So the sine of the natural log of x all divided by x minus zero. What is this mystical quantity? This is the absolute value of the sine. We're basically repeating our steps. Natural log of x over x. This is equal to the absolute value of the sine of the natural log of x over the absolute value of x. This is less than or equal to one over the absolute value of x, but x is positive, because m is positive, right? So x is bigger than zero, so this is just one over x. 
right? M is bigger than this, and this is positive, so M is positive. Right? So this is boom. Um, and then we know um, that X is bigger than M. So let's 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 clean it up. Watch this. Since X is bigger than M, which is bigger than one over epsilon, we have this is the beautiful part, x bigger than 1 over epsilon. So that means epsilon x is bigger than 1. So epsilon is bigger than 1 over x. You see what I did there? So I got to the part where I wanted to say it's less than epsilon, but you know you want to be a little more clear than that, you know, because we did it in the scratch work, but the reader can't see your scratch work. Like, you know, if you're reading this in a book, you know, usually they don't show you the scratch work, unfortunately, but you want your proof to be 100% clear to whoever's reading it. So when you get here, you need to reinforce what you did in your scratch work. So you go back, you say, okay, X is bigger than M, which is bigger than one over epsilon. All right, so X is bigger than one over epsilon. All right, so we have that. All right, so we have that. Oh, so that means one over X is less than epsilon. But don't you finish your proof here, right? Go back and, and just restate what you did. So thus, Let's just say it again, for all x bigger than m, just for clarity. And I'm going to go from here. Sine of the natural log of x over x minus 0. We know this is less than or equal to 1 over x, right? And we know that this is less than epsilon. And that completes the proof. Right? I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.